that I could sympathize with the guy and I would just concentrate on very few things with him. Odon used to insist that I go through this attack, defense, and then the counterattack. He threw that in, which was more than what Rene Perroy gave me. And, but, and I was always under stress. Uh -huh. So that's why I say I don't think I learned as well as I could have. Yeah. And, and uh, the experience with Odon taught me later on, don't give them more than they can handle at any one time. Yeah. And so the, I learned from that. So really sort of focus it's on It's almost the like a negative and... kind of learning. <laughs> <laughs> Were you bouting a lot then? Um, oh yes, the I was bouting yeah, so in, the, uh, in the... Um, AFLA and the USFA, and uh, I was bouting with my teammates at the uh, at AC. At the AC? Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Were you, uh, I don't know if that time, if you were starting to develop particular aspects of your game, or were the particular strengths you were finding you had, or particular observations you had about fencing and, and your My game at that about? time, was, for the most part, was, was pretty shallow uh, until I started observing um, other, other fencers. And, and trying to find out, well, when should I use my strength against this person? Mm -hmm. uh, what's the best time to do that? And mm -hmm. so on. And uh, at first my, my, my moves were very simple. It was either I was on the attack or I was on the defense or I was counterattacking. Mm -hmm. And after that we'd break. Mm -hmm. And it was only later when I could get the other person to uh, show his strength and then make him miss me mm -hmm. that I could then change the game for myself. Interesting. So when, when did you, was that still at the AC? How long were you at the, when, that when was, New York that was, the AC? That was after the AC. Yeah. That was after the AC. So how long were you, now Nita Kirshner, I just want to say, what, what nationality is that? Hungarian. Hungarian. Okay. Oh yeah, he was one and of the famous coaches of, of, uh, of Hungary. Yeah. He, he was a, uh, he wasn't a very, very big guy, but he was very powerful. Yeah. And he had been a boxer. Uh-huh. And so, I, as I told you earlier, I had some boxing in yeah. my own past. Yeah. And so I was able to understand the moves that uh, Odon was teaching me and put them and, and, and get them to work in, in fencing, but only on a very shallow basis yeah. because, as I said, I didn't learn the game in depth. Yeah. Yeah. And there was a conflict with the classical game that I had learned from René Perroy also. Ah, so so I, I was still evolving my own style, yeah. you see. And Niederkirch, did you ever talk to him about boxing and, or anything like oh, that? Oh yes, he yeah. used to tell me about his boxing matches there yeah. in Hungary and, and he was glad that he was now a fencing coach. <laughs> <laughs> Were there any observations he had about boxing and, or its particular? Did you do any... He said, well, one of the things he insisted was that even when you're dead tired, you have to be strong. Yeah. Interesting. You have to be strong enough to complete your move to execute your move in good style. Uh -huh. And you couldn't just make uh, a lousy move and then try to correct it. Yeah. Oh, he punished me severely when I did that. Did. That's a mistake. Yeah. And then he would chase me down the strip, hitting me time after time. And I would just be defending myself. <laughs> and then he'd say, how many times did I hit you? Only five times as I retreated <laughs> <with> the stroke. <laughs> Was he was he he taught all three weapons? I take it. Uh, he taught he taught he taught mainly the he taught mainly the foil and the epee. And was his weapon the foil? Or his weapon his his weapon was the foil. Was the foil. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it seems like uh, the conditioning was important. Eltash taught the saber. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. okay, right. So Eltash was there at the time. He was there also. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Job Eltash. Um, and he Eltash taught mainly foil and saber. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so, how long were you at the AC? I was there for, uh, oh, two and a half, uh, two and a half years, and then I went overseas. And now, where were you overseas? I was in the Philippines, mainly. Back in the Philippines. Yeah. So, were you and Natalie there? We were both there, yeah. and I, I uh, there I continued to have some fencing lessons with a fellow who had, um, a Filipino who had learned how to fence in New York when he was a student, and he had learned from Santelli. Uh -huh. And he was a saber man, Conrado.